So owning ATMs can potentially be a good business as it creates relatively passive income. You just work a couple or a few hours a week, depending how many machines you have, and you can make good money. And it can be run from home. So you've got low overhead and low expenses. But it can also be a bad business if you make bad decisions. We're going to look at owning an ATM business today on Franchise City. So the sellers of the machines or these types of businesses will tell you how much money you can make, $50,000, $100,000 a year traveling the world while your machines are back home doing all of the work. Now, some investors have been very successful in this industry, but there have been a lot of casualties as well and a lot of people who are struggling not making a ton of money. Also, the industry and our financial system is going through a lot of changes that you need to consider before you make a decision. So your options for starting an ATM business are buying an existing route, number of machines already in place, starting a business from scratch by buying and placing the machines yourself, or buying a franchise. And there are ATM franchises available. Now, if you have the money buying an existing ATM route is the easiest way to go as the machines are already in place. And finding good locations, as anyone is going to tell you, that's 99% of the success in this business. So if you have the money, buying one of these ATM routes is the quickest way to go. Now, if we look at some of the current listings that are out there today, we see price ranges from about 900000 this is a huge route. They've got over 150 locations. They're doing about $360,000 a year in earnings. Now keep in mind that servicing 150 machines, that's gonna be a full-time job. It's not like a smaller route with just a couple of machines. Now for smaller routes, we can see here a seven machine ATM business. They're selling that for 100,000. Sales revenue is about $40,000 a year. And you can find single ATM locations for sale at about 12,500. Now keep in mind, beyond this selling price, you also need the cash to put in the machines. This is above your initial investment. So larger locations, they're going to need a significant amount of cash for you to get started. Now, if you do buy a route, of course, you, you want to make sure that the length remaining on these contracts is still good. So if any of the contracts are expiring soon and they ask you to take your machines out shortly after you buy the business, you might as well have started from scratch. So starting off on your own, you're not buying a route, you're not buying a franchise, you can find used ATM machines. These are usually from people who failed in the business. They're relatively cheap, ranging from about $1,000 and up. Now keep in mind, some of the really old machines might not be compliant and any ATM that's out there that's not ADA compliant, that can get you a penalty up to $55,000. So make sure your machines are all up to code. You're also gonna to need to learn how to install, find out who can repair them, uh, if they ever break, how to replace the receipt paper. There's a lot of stuff that you need to know. And uh, your contract even, is your own contract worded correctly? Uh, do you know what locations are good? Which ones work? Which ones don't? And do you have the credibility to get your machines into a premium location? So a super busy airport, for example, they're not taking your ratty 10-year-old ATM machine that you paid 400 bucks for. So a franchise in this case uh, has an advantage with existing relationships with major national organizations that are going to help you get your foot in the door. You're going to pay a franchise fee and a premium, but ideally you should make that back through better placements. So the third option, buying a franchise, they can help you with placement, negotiating the best rates, and training on the business as a whole. Now you should have about $60,000 minimum to start a uh, ATM franchise as the franchise fee is about 25,000. You need a minimum of two machines, you'll have to buy those, and at least $7,000 in cash to load up into your ATMs. Now you're gonna be paying a franchise fee as with any franchise, you're gonna be paying these ongoing fees. We can help you learn more about that. Uh, but some buyers have found that the help the good placement, all these other things have offset the cost and helped them build their business a lot faster than going solo. I'm going to place a link at the end of the video if you want to learn about going the franchise route. So how much can you actually make with an ATM? Well, the money from each transaction is split three ways, and that amount is going to vary based on your negotiations and what companies you're going with. So the location where you place the machine, they get their cut first. Uh, the company processing the transactions, 
they're getting a cut at the front end as well. And whatever's left over from that, you get to keep. So the companies that sell the machines tell you this incredible scenario that, uh, say for example, location, you're doing 50 transactions a day, $3 fee per transaction, that's 150 bucks a day per machine. Say you pay the location 50 cents, you've got 125 left, take off 20 cents for processing. That's 10 bucks. That leaves you with $115 a day for a single machine. And your eyes light up. You see all these dollar figures, but that's not really realistic. And a reasonable expectation for an average location is about $150 to $300 a month per machine. A stellar location, sure, you can make a lot more, but most of the locations that are out there say $150 to $300 a location. But from a high level perspective, is getting into the ATM business still a good investment? Now, there's no question that ca cash transactions are declining today. Cash is accounting for about 22% of all transactions, and it's possible over the next 20 years that cash machines are going to disappear entirely. Now, during the demic that we're going through right now, cash transactions also dropped significantly. People are preferring just to swipe their card, uh, contact-free transactions. A lot of companies are saying, hey, we only take debit or any type of touchless payment. Now that said, if you can get a good price on a route or get good locations, there's still money that's going to be made over the coming decade. But for a long, long, long term, this industry is probably going to phase out. Carrie Buck actually has a great YouTube channel all about running an ATM business. That link I will place above details on buying an ATM franchise, you can contact us here at Franchise City. That link is below to our contact page. Just put ATM franchise in the subject line. Remember, you're gonna need at least $60,000 to start that business. If you'd like to search hundreds of franchise and business opportunities, you can visit us over at www.franchise.city. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.